Rajesh is asking, what is your general opinions on uniforms in schools? So I had to wear a uniform for the majority of my education. Um, I hated it. Uh, I think it was, at least as a, as a young girl, like a means through which you get like slut shamed um, because you're like constantly badgered about how long your skirt is and how inappropriate you are. Like, I just have so many memories of that. Um, so I hate that aspect of it. There's one pro uniform argument, which I am kind of inclined towards. Not like it's the only one that I kind of buy into or see the worth worthiness of, which is basically, um, that it helps prevent kids from judging each other on the basis of clothing and wardrobe. You know, like if if you can't, it it helps try to um, take away some aspects of like class barriers from students. You know, where some kids are always like flexing and showing off, like oh, I got the when I was in middle school, it was Juicy Couture, like Juicy Couture tracksuit, <laughs> like you know, like expensive clothing to show off how rich they are, that kind of thing. And kids can get bullied for that kind of for all sorts of stuff surrounding that. So in an attempt to try to lessen those types of situations, I think it's worthwhile. That's the only one that I'm sympathetic towards. Otherwise I freaking hate it. Just let kids be individuals. Yeah. I never considered that because I was going to be fully, I'm, I mean, I'm again, I am, I, I think like my argument was going to be that I hate it. I think that you wanting to like, this is the phase in life where kids go through, finding their own identity and their personality and their unique, you know, characters and trying to define who they are and what they like. So like trying to make them all confirm in this like uniform way of, you know, that's like basically and goes against that. You know what I mean? You want to, you want people to be, you want to provide as much exploration um, as possible when, when you're going through that phase in your life. Right. Um, and basically also i think like it helps fight i think like kids who are brought up uh, in an from a in with an individualist mindset it's hard for them to even be able to relate as an adult to any form of collectivism they, they wouldn't even be able to comprehend what it even means like to refer to a group of people as you know um as a collective it just would be like tribalism would be insane to them if you if you from 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 early on you treat everybody as an individual separate from other people uh but but i've never but this is something very interesting because that form of like providing people with their own individual way of being and acting um only works if everyone has the same access to experiment with that right um and and people don't, right? Like, what if somebody has only one set of clothes? And also, what what if that set that experimentation with um, individuality comes now comes with like, well, let me show you how much I'm better than all of you, <laughs> and what I can do. And also, now you're creating a different form of tribalism as the ha of, of the tribes of the people who have and the people don't, that don't, right? So you're forming a more dangerous form of tribalism if you don't if you don't so I, I don't know how you address that do you maybe how about this okay i have no idea this might be a terrible idea because i haven't thought about it for a second okay but so oh boy it, okay what if you have a school uniform not but not a u school form you have a set of 10 and you get to choose That's basically what a uniform already is. You have standardized clothes and then you have like, no, different, in my school, no, we had a formal uniform, we had an informal uniform. No, no, they're very different. Like uniform <laughs> one and uniform two, they're not even remotely the same. And uniform three, like you basically, you basically limit it to, the, to a way so that people don't feel like they're not like bringing in too much like, like, I mean, huh. you could have a policy against branded clothes or stuff like that, right? You know, expensive clothes, but that would be too much. Like, like how do you now control for that, right? Huh. I don't know. I don't know. This might be a really bad idea. But what if you have like a, 
So what if you have like a selection? What if you have, oh, what if you have a school fashion, like a store, right? And there's a whole bunch of stuff, but the only thing is that whatever you wear at school should be from there. Right. So now there's a huge collection of stuff, but they just all of them are extremely cheap uh, and people get to choose what they want to wear. And there's a variety of things to wear. And so you get to exp exp you, know, you get to be your own individual, but it just has to be limited based on what the school provides. And they all have the school brand on them. Right. So they make sure that you don't bring anything. <laughs> Rajesh saying, Armin, you fail to understand the concept of uniform. <laughs> Okay, that's the point. I'm destroying, like, you know how I it's said I'm a gender abolitionist? It's the anti-uniform uniform. <laughs> it's the anti-uniform uniform, exactly. So you do, you're you not unified, okay? So that's the point. Just like oh the God. concept of having a thousand genders abolishes gender, the concept of having many uniforms basically means that you don't have a uniform. That's the point. But yeah, no, okay, no uniform. You have a school, just like you go buy your books from a store in, in, in you know, in the, in the school. There's a there's a store for clothes, right? And they all have the school brand on them. And it's um, all gender and... neutral. No, it could be gender, gender neutral. There's both gender neutral and gender clothes, like whatever you want. There's like well, all... you get to wear. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hi guys, did you know that March twenty third is Atheist Day? You should use the hashtag hashtag Atheist Day and post a picture of yourself with a green circle to let other people know that there are a lot more of us out there than many people expect and to help normalize atheism. You can draw it on your hand or on a piece of paper or other creative ways, so long as it's safe for you. This is also not exclusive to atheists. If you think that shunning or demonizing atheists is not okay, Make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag Atheist Day on March 23rd to let your atheist friends know that you accept their non-belief. Happy Atheist Day.